Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at density. Uh, density falls under the uh, compound measure type topic. So it includes things like speed, distance, time. Please do stop the video, have a go at the questions, compare your solutions. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at density type questions. I'm going to spread this particular playlist over two videos so it'll give you uh, some idea of the kind of questions that uh, might come up in density. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question and then compare your solution. So in this particular one, uh, question one, we've got uh, wood has a density of 0 0.56 grams and the important thing here is that it's per centimeter cube so very typically with these sorts of questions you've got to make sure you get your units right so now we're okay with this one because the uh, volume of the cuboid we can work out by centimeters cubed because we've got centimeters centimeters and centimeters so let's do that first because really what we're trying to do is we're trying to use the formula density equals mass over volume okay so we know the density it's been given uh, we can work out the volume and the mass is what we're being asked to calculate so we're going to use that formula but the first thing is we need to figure out the volume first so the volume is going to be the area times the depth OK, and I think it's kind of important to do it this way. I see, do see students where they actually just multiply all three together. And that's absolutely right. But it's just a good discipline to be in to actually break it up. So the area is the area of this front surface, which is going to be um, eight times five. OK, which is the area. And then the depth is going to be multiplied by six. Now, if you calculate that, you should end up with 240 centimetres cubed. OK, that seems a good number to be working with for this type of question. So absolutely fine with that. Usually I would say these are calculator questions. So you should be OK with using a calculator in all of these. OK, so density is 0 0.56. That equals the mass divided by the volume, which we've worked out as 240. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 240, which means I lose this denominator and I'm going to get the mass equals 0 0.56 times 240. Pop that in a calculator and I'm going to get a mass of 134 Point four grams. And that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, hope that's all right. We're going to use a very similar sort of idea with the next question, but it's a little bit more wordy. OK, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to have a look at how they then don't give you the picture. They actually just give you the words. OK, so let's have a look at that one. That's going to be number two. OK, and that says the density of gold is 19.4 grams per centimetre cubed. A gold ingot is produced in the shape of a cuboid. Well, that's good news. If it's the shape of the cuboid, I can draw that. OK, and I'd always advocate that you sketch these things out if you can. It just sort of makes a lot of sense to sketch it. Then you can visualise. OK, so the cuboid has a length of 20 centimetres, it has a width of 8 and it has a height of 2. Well, that's good because, again, we can work out the volume of that if we need it. And we do because we're going to work out density equals mass divided by volume. So as we had before, we've got the density and we've got the ability to work out the volume. So the volume is going to be equal to the area times the depth. OK, well, the area is going to be this piece here, which is 8 times the height of 2. So I put that into brackets, 8 times 2. And the depth is going to be 20. Put that in a calculator or work it out for yourself. And that's going to be 320 centimetres cubed, which is excellent for this type of calculation. So no problems at all with this. OK, so let's pop in the numbers. So density is 19.4. 
Mass, we don't know, we're being asked to work out, but the volume we've just worked out is 320. So again, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 320 in order to lose this particular denominator. And I just, on my right-hand side, I get mass. And mass is going to be equal to 19.4 times 320. Okay, work that out however you do it, and you're going to get 6,208 equals mass okay which is actually the measurement in grams now you will notice in the question it says give your answer in kilograms so therefore i just need to convert it by moving the decimal point three places and the mass is equal to 6.208 kg okay hope that's been useful to you if you're not sure about anything please do post a comment i'll always come back to you uh, i'm going to in the next video have a look at a slightly more complex couple of questions but i hope this one's been useful please do add a comment below add a like it keeps youtube happy and i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video